Yo, what's going on, buddy? This is Don't Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is where we talk about Shohei Otani, and there's been some news recently about the Los Angeles Dodgers about the possibility that they might actually let him pitch in the playoffs this year. Now, the reason why we're talking about this is because in the 2023-2024 MLB offseason, he got Tommy John surgery, or UCL surgery is kind of the official term, uh, basically like a tendon right here along the elbow, uh, and he had to get surgery because he could not throw. Usually, this is like a pitcher's thing. When they cannot throw the ball anymore, they get Tommy John surgery. It fixes them but it usually takes about 12 to 14 months to heal. In Shohei Otani's camp, they said last offseason that he was going to get Tommy John surgery, but he will be able to come back and he'll be able to keep on hitting, and he's also going to be able to run bases, do all that sorts of stuff, but he will not pitch in this season that we are currently in. And then in the next season, that's whenever he'll be able to come back and start pitching. But then in an interview, I believe Dave Roberts, the name of the manager for the Los Angeles Dodgers, he was kind of speaking, they were talking about Shohei Otani, about how good he's been this season, kind of saying he's great, he's doing everything he needs to do to be the best player basically alive. And they were kind of asking, could he possibly pitch, you know, in the playoffs if a push came to shove? And he basically said, if it, we wanted him to pitch, we'll let him pitch. And it's not dumb to kind of ask that question of could he pitch because he's been throwing, he's been out in the bullpen, he's kind of warming up, kind of getting loose, throwing the ball around. So he, if he wanted to pitch, it seems like he's got the tendon healed up a good enough, of it, I guess. So pretty much, I kind of want to go through, talk about Shohei Otani and kind of give my opinion on should he pitch, should he not pitch, or like pretty much if he should pitch in the MLB playoffs, how it could help the Dodgers, and then if maybe he shouldn't pitch, why maybe is a good idea, bad idea, and I'll kind of explain as I go. Now, I do want to let you guys know I'm going to have a whole bunch of uh, articles and posts up on the screen here in a minute that I'll be kind of going through, kind of reading. So if you want to go check all of them out, any of them out for yourself, I'll have links to it all down in the description below. So like I said, if you want to go check it out for yourself, feel free. But I'm going to go and get straight into this. If you're going to enjoy it, as always, make sure you go and drop a like on today's video. Be very much appreciated to do so. But without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, like I said with Shohei Tani, like I said, possibly starting. As you can see here, they were kind of asking the question, David Rob Dave Roberts, like I said, the manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers, they were asking him, could he possibly pitch in the postseason? And he said, quote, anything is possible. Quote, quote, I hope that's on his mind as far as motivation for his rehab. The odds of it coming to pass are very slim, but they're not zero. Which is wild because, like I said, two things. Uh, One, him getting the Tommy John surgery, so he should have, been pretty much guaranteed to be out the season and then secondly the fact that he didn't say zero means that he is holding the slightest chance of if he gets on that mound i i never told you he was never going to get on the mound there, there's that chance out there now one thing i do want to point out if he were to pitch in the mlb playoffs i forget exactly how the mlb rules kind of work but if he pitches doesn't that mean he can't bat in that same game because say he goes out there and pitches and he like i said somehow gets on the mound and he pitches he's good to go Let's just live in a world where that happened. And he can go seven innings, six, seven innings, we'll say. Uh, doesn't that mean that the bat will be taken away from him and he cannot be out there crushing home runs, hitting doubles, getting uh, RBIs for his team? He's going to have to be just a pitcher for maybe at least one game a series. And as you can see from him being possibly he's chasing history of being the first player with 50 homers and 50 stolen bases, which I think is kind of funny, something he said recently about the fact that are you feel any pressure? Do you are you nervous about trying to get this record? And he basically said, there's no pressure. I really couldn't care if I got it or not. One, you and I both know he's lying when he says that. Two, how do you not feel pressure? Like you're chasing history, bro. Now, the other reason why I feel like it could be interesting for Hotani to pitch in the playoffs, like I said, if it absolutely came down to it, they're currently glass now. They're, I believe he's their best pitcher right now. He's on the uh, IL right now. So he will see kind of how things move along. Uh, I believe he'll. they're saying right now he'll be back. Hopefully, by the time playoffs start, is what I've kind of heard recently from all of Jeff Passan, from recent uh, MLB reporters and everything like that, uh, and also Clayton Kershaw. I believe he is also on the IL, so they might need to force Otani out there. Now, as I said with Tommy John surgery, I kind of want to show you guys, just in case anybody's saying, like, I'm overacting with Tommy John surgery, or I, it's no big deal. I want to show you guys right here the question, how long until you can return to sports after Tommy John surgery? Uh, return to competition largely depends on the sport and position played by the athlete. Most athletes begin a throwing program by the four to five months after surgery. So let's live in the world where Shohei uh kind of live in his world of like when he got the surgery to now. As you can see here, it kind of talks about whenever he got the surgery. Uh, and it says here, this was from December 15th of 2023. So uh, let's just live in the world where he get the surgery back in December. Let's fast forward. Let's just live in the world. Like I said, four to five months after surgery, you can kind of begin a throwing program. Uh, let's say opening day. It says here in baseball, pitchers usually can re return to full throwing capacity 12 to 14 months after surgery. Although it can sometimes take longer, position players can return to competition sooner 
It's typically nine to 12 months after surgery. And as you can see, uh, typically nine to 12 months after surgery, he got his surgery done in December. He was playing by opening day, meaning four months and he was bam, right back out there. So let's take this nine to 12 months, chop it in half, 12 to 14 months, chop that in half. The dude could literally be pitching here uh, in the playoffs. Plus also with the way of modern medicine, the way everything is just constantly advancing, they might have a new type of uh, way of how they do surgeries these days to where they were able to go into that uh, tendon and just go bink, bink, bump, boom, you're healed. Now, one thing I do want to point out before I kind of wrap it up uh, and talk about Shoyotani of uh, the possibility of if he should or should not pitch, I kind of want to talk about their playoff matchups. Does he really need to pitch? Like I said, when you look at the playoffs right now, it seems like Phillies and Dodgers, they're battling for the number one spot. Who gets it? That remains to be seen. But the Phillies right now look like they're probably going to be the one to get the spot. Like I said, uh, currently at the time of recording this, it is uh, Wednesday, uh, September 18th. So these are the records as of this date. If they were to get the buy right now, it kind of looks like they could play either the Brewers, and I'll kind of go ahead and pull up the wild card so you guys can see it as well. There's the Padres, the Diamondbacks, and the Mets. And maybe Braves could possibly shoot up in there. I think the Cubs, I think the Cubs and everybody below is pretty much done. So it kind of comes down to the Padres, Diamondbacks, Mets, and Braves. If it's any of those teams, I don't think the Dodgers are going to need to find somebody else or find Shohei and be like, you need to pitch. I think they can handle the Mets. I'm pretty sure they can handle the Braves. The Diamondbacks are a little bit scary. Padres are the one that maybe the bats might become alive for the Padres. And they're going to need Shohei Otani to help combat that. Realistically, I think the only team in the National League that the Dodgers are going to really be scared of and be like, we need to get some pitching going and Shohei, we might take the bat out of your hand for at least one day and let you go out there and pitch. Is probably going to be the Phillies and maybe the Brewers. I don't think the Padres will scare them too much, even though I just said they might. Uh, like I said, Diamondbacks, Mets, Braves, fuck no. Uh, Phillies are going to scare them. Brewers, maybe a little bit, might be a little bit. And Padres, same thing. Those are like the two that's like a little bit scary. Phillies will scare the shit out of them. Now, kind of wrapping it up, final points are going to be this. When it comes to Shohei Otani, like I said, he should, if he feels comfortable and that tendon is good and they can get a doctor to look at it and they can say, it's good to go. If you want to go out there and, and just start firing it all will and just gunning it down the plate, because I believe he can throw, last time I checked, wasn't his fastball like 100 miles an hour? And I think he had like a change up, some sliders, a curveball. He had a combo of pitches. So if he wants to go out there and start ripping it and he wants to start gunning it down the plate, that's on him. I'm just saying, the last we heard from Shohei's camp back in early, or back after the 2023 season, after he left the Angels, they said he was going to get surgery, but he's going to only be batting in 2024, and then 2025, he'd be pitching. So it kind of makes me wonder whenever we look at the, this coaching staff, or, or for the management, for the Dodgers, if he does go out there and throw a pitch in the playoffs, is this Shohei Otani choosing to do this, or is this David Roberts? And the management choosing to do this for Shohei from the Dodgers. Now, do I feel like the Dodgers are going to push him to go pitch? I don't think so. I think they're going to pretty much say, do what you got to do. If you're not feeling healthy, that is okay on you. And right now, with the way he's swinging the bat, I wouldn't want to take the bat out of hand. I want to keep him out there swinging every pitch. Because last time I checked, it seems like nowadays, every single pitcher will kind of tell you, when you go up there to face Otani, you will take your chances throwing the ball down in the dirt and way outside before you ever give him a pitch in the strike zone because it doesn't matter where you throw it i think he's had pitches hit for home runs low outside up and in it doesn't matter where in the strike zone you put it he's going to hit it far so you might as well just take your chances give him four walks now if he does go out there and pitch like i said i'm not going to call him crazy but i will say this it would suck if he goes out there and pitches and that tendon pops and it'll be the end of the world for the dodgers fans but other than that i think i'm gonna wrap up there hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video if you did enjoy it as always make sure you go and drop a like on today's video be very much appreciated to do so. If you wanted to watch the entirety of today's video, thank you very much. And like I said, if you have a different opinion, do you agree or disagree with anything I said? Do you think Shohei should pitch this season? Should not pitch this season? Uh, do you think he should just wait till next season? Do you think if the Dodgers absolutely need him, should he possibly go out there and grab the grab the mound or go up to the mound, grab the ball and say, fuck it, I'm pitching today? Whatever your opinion may be whenever it comes to the whole thing, go ahead and leave a clear opinion down in the comment section down below. I've been worldwide kind of talk about you guys. If you're a fan of the content that I do poster and you want to go and hit that big subscribe button, feel free to do so. And do not forget to hit that little notification bell to be notified the second I post. But without further ado, this has been Don't Talk Sports. Have a great day. Peace.